With gas prices still higher than we've seen in years, it's really hard not to look for ways to try to cut down on driving. But we have to get to work or to get groceries or even just to get around. In Metro Detroit, there are 95 stops for Detroit's most used buses with DDOT and Smart Bus. Not to mention the 132 stops that can get you from Windsor to Ann Arbor. That's right, and in most cases, those trips will cost you far less than the price of a tank of gas. As we focus on ways to make ends meet, our Grant Herms asked the questions, why aren't people more people using public transportation, and what can be done to make it better? As gas prices have hit historic highs, getting around Metro Detroit has become more expensive, unless you take the bus. Certainly everyone's looking for some kind of other option. I mean, most people are stuck with the cars they have, and uh, those are usually the only options for getting back and forth to work, to the store, to everywhere. And um, I'm hoping that this will kind of reawaken uh, an interest in, uh, in public transit. David Giffords runs the website Transit Guide Detroit, which has a list of every way to get from here to there without a car in Southeast Michigan. There's really only two transit stations in southeast Michigan, there's for the buses, there's the one downtown, uh, Rosa Parks Transit Center, and then there's a smart um, depot in downtown Royal Oak. Out here, it's usually nothing more than a sign on a pole, or even on this one, there's just a sign on a pole with no information, no bus route, no schedule, um, just a number over here to call for, uh, for the, the dial -a ride in this area. Metro Detroit's public transportation is overseen by the Regional Transit Authority, which has tried to make a better plan with more money to help improve the bus system. But it needs to be approved by voters in Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties. In 2016, the plan failed by 2%, mostly in Oakland County. In 2018, it never even made the ballot. The latest plan has been approved by the RTA, but it won't be on the ballot this year, according to an authority spokesperson. But even that approved plan has an uphill battle because cities can opt out of bus routes. Smart Bus has a system of opt-outs where a city can opt out of uh, Smart Bus service. And some cities here, like Livonia, is a 36 square mile township. Um, it was formerly a township and now it's a city, just like uh, City of Warren, City of Rochester Hills. It's a, it's a really big area. And when a city that size opts out, that's a huge gap in the system. There have been other plans to make it easier to get around Metro Detroit, including the Smart Bus Smart Flex, which is like Uber for Smart Bus, that costs from two to eight dollars for trips that would cost you upwards of sixty dollars on ride sharing apps. There's also a plan to expand Detroit's Amtrak rail connecting Detroit to Toronto with a new eighty-two million dollar price tag in costs from both the U.S. and Canada. So even with all those options and all the stops, why aren't people riding? And what will it take to change it? Most people that don't want to ride the bus have never even stepped foot on one. They don't know what it's like. They don't know what, what sense of community can be on a bus and what it's like actually, you know, talking to your, your neighbors and people in your region as opposed to just being isolated in your own car. That was Grant Herms reporting. So far, bus fares haven't risen as gas prices have gone up, but most experts think that could change if oil and gas prices stay inflated this year. It just depends on how many riders they see in 2022. And if you want to see what it's like to use the bus, head to the Help Me Hank page on clickondetroit.com. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester tried it out, shares his experience and what he learned from other regular riders.